On today's episode of Community Positive, we are at the Numerica Skate Ribbon and Sky Ride, and we're checking out all the great things going on in downtown Spokane. This is an episode you can't miss. I'm Dan Kuhlman, this is Community Positive. You know, I, I think it's important for positivity to talk about, you know, our mental state of our positive mental mindset. You know, we're, we're, we're getting ready to do a campaign with the uh, Suicide Prevention Foundation for Washington Woo! about how the isolation is affecting people and their mental health and how we have to be positive and have more connectivity to build on that. So, Philip, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for the scooter ride. That, that might be my favorite thing I want to do today. So Absolutely, yeah. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm honored to be part of your show, Dane. Yeah, we love having you out. I mean, we're having you as a guest because your diverse background and you've been in politics, you've been in nonprofits, you've been involved in so many things and everything you're involved with, there's this air of positivity and just doing it. So you're, you're the perfect guest for, for our show. So Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I try to maintain a positive uh, you know, aura, everything I do, you know, starting from you know, my time in the service as United States Air Force, uh, law enforcement specialist, getting out and working for Spokane County as a corrections officer and excelling uh, through those ranks. And then working as the Spokane uh, NAACP president uh, here in Spokane, and then working with the various nonprofit boards that I've sat on, including the uh, Salvation Army currently with their executive committee, and now working at Gonzaga uh, University as their crime prevention education officer. I always want be, my contact to be a positive contact, no yeah. matter what I do. Well, it's, it's a positive contact, but you're in you're in a lot of industries and places where there's not always inherently positivity, right? Agreed. Like you bring positivity to sometimes really tough situations. Yeah, I, I think that's how you transform, right? I think a lot of times we, we tend to speak before hearing other person's stories and we really can't reach their hearts or minds unless we share our stories with one another and then we can reach what, who we're trying to really reach. I love that, love yeah. that. So tell us, tell us about your time you know, in, in politics and getting into that world and... <laughs> How's yeah, that? politics is not necessarily a positive environment, uh, particularly campaigning. Uh, but I still tried to maintain that that uh, positive uh, imagery. You know, I didn't uh, get in it to tear down the other or to say I was better than those that were currently holding office. It is uh, to tell them I had a different way of governance. And I wanted to show them a more positive way of doing that yeah. uh, interaction. In all of this going on, I mean, in this craziness that's been happening since March, what have you seen from the Spokane community and, and in the circles that you're in? Yeah, one of the things that I've seen that really helps uh, our, our community is our city is coming together. Even in the midst of the tumult of the nation uh, and what's going on locally with the protests, um, you're seeing entities, businesses, nonprofits, neighbors, yeah. right, uh, coming together and making sure they connect uh, and stay connected with their with their friends because that's a big thing with all the isolation going on. I think that that maintains our positive spirit. Uh, so that's what I've seen uh, going on in our community. I love that. And talk to me about this round table project that you're involved in. Yeah. So again, it, it's about positivity, right? We we have when I say we, there's a group of us: uh, Kevin Parker, uh, Erica Joe Norris, uh, Katara Johnson, um, Garrett Daggett, and others that came together uh, after this this cancel culture, if you will, that was occurring online, uh, particularly to our friend Kevin Parker. And we thought, how do we elevate the voices of those that want to bring this community together uh, and form this beloved community versus those that are looking to tear it apart? And so we thought, we're going to create an environment where people can come together and just have conversations, ask those questions that they otherwise wouldn't ask in public uh, to someone and make them comfortable. And we hope that that will reach others that may have the same questions or concerns out there. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Finding a need and then just making something that, that fits that need to, Absolutely. to make the world a better place. Yeah, I, well I, I like to think that's what our show is, right? Just I think so. Let's, let's be positive in the midst of nuts. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think there's, there was a guest, and I watch your show frequently, obviously we're friends, um, but you know, from Bud Namick, Patrick Bomer, those individuals who I know too, um, really, for me, speak to positivity. You know, Tracy and Craig Meidel doing the work that they do in the community. When I was the president of the NAACP, they always came, not as officers, not as chief and as captain, they came as Tracy and Craig to hear the stories, yeah. to connect, to share, uh, and those things make, make a difference in our community. Well, Philip, thank you so much for your service. Uh, tell us about your background in, in the United States 
Yeah, Air Force, yeah, absolutely. Right. So I, I come from a long line of servicemen and women. Um, our family has a combined 150 plus years in the service. My wow. father uh, was in the service 33 years, he's passed now. Uh, my baby sister's still in the service. He's a major, a nurse uh, in the US Army. Uh, my younger sister works for the Department of Defense. Wow. Um, so I spent eight years myself, uh, United States Air Force as a law enforcement specialist, and we love our servicemen and women uh, yep. in this country. I love that. And then how long have you been in Spokane? I've been in Spokane for about 30 years since departing uh, Fairchild Air Force Base, my last duty station here. 30 years. Yeah. So you've been around for a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Seen a lot, done a lot. Uh, I love the community. Um, it's one of the most accepting uh, big, small towns, right, that I've been in. And the one thing I like about it is that you know, it's it's always neighborly. At least it's been to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I've I've had negative experiences, but for the for the vast majority of my time in Spokane, it's always been a positive experience, and it feels like a, a small town within a big metropolis. Tell me about your pin. So this pin, and, and thank you for asking about it, because it really means a lot to me. This is a pin for the organization called uh, Radical Hope. Radical Hope was formed after a young man at Gonzaga University by the name of Chris Martin uh, lost his life by suicide in the fall of 2017, and. You know, I got to meet his parents uh, through that tragedy, Philip and Pamela Martin. And they wanted to make sure that uh, Chris's um, loss wasn't going to be in vain. They wanted to make sure they connected with other organizations, Gonzaga included, um, that would do things to, to connect with the positive mental aspects uh, of society. Because, you know, young men and women um, are struggling with that. Yeah. You know, when I met uh, Philip and Pamela Martin uh, in the fall of 2017, it was six weeks before my son took his life. Uh, by suicide. And, and the only way I was able to get through that uh, darkness was the light that, that Philip Martin and Pamela Martin gave to me, checking in, uh, talking, letting me have a shoulder to cry on, uh, knowing that crying wasn't a sign of weakness, yeah. right? Letting me know that reaching out for assistance and help wasn't a sign of weakness. You know, redefining what weak means. And, and I, I today say weak is just an acronym, willing to expose adult kindness, right? And we all should use that, redefine the term, use our power, right, of thought and yeah. how things fall on us. Um, but this really means a lot to me. I wear it wherever I go. Um, I tell people all the time, if, if, you're, if you're struggling and you're looking to connect with resources, um, try Radical Hope. So if people in Spokane want to help the organizations that you're involved in, yeah. what can people do? Well, first thing I would say is we had the recent numbers about the Marshallese community that's been impacted by COVID-19. I would say get involved with the Salvation Army. I sit on their executive board um, and their advisory board, and they do great services for that community, mm -hmm. whether it be through Stepping Stones housing, whether that be through their, their uh, family care services, even their, their food pantry. Get involved, help those that are being impacted mm -hmm. disproportionately. Um, and I think that's a really one of the big first steps you can take. And right now, you're also highly involved with mental health. Correct. And really helping people with mental health. Tell yeah. us about that and how people Yeah, can help we're going to be having a campaign with the um, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. It's going to be coming out, and we're going to talk about messages of positivity like we're talking about mm -hmm. here and how that can help connect others uh, to the various resources, right? We know if you're struggling out there, right, the main number is 1-800-273-TALK, and that's a number we want to always put out there. We're hoping that our government will transform that into the small three-digit number 988 when that uh, passes hopefully um, but stay connected stay involved in those kind of programs as well philip thank you so much for joining our show today Always, appreciate the positivity after this we're going to do some yoga with shelly and Lo. check out community positive a tv show dedicated to promoting positivity each week we highlight business owners and community leaders doing incredible things in the spokane community Saturday and Sunday at 6 on Fox 28.